Hello all, welcome to my channel Codify with Sonal. Today the topic that I will be covering is introduction to collections in Java. So uh, for people who want to uh, know about Core Java, I have already done a complete tutorial on Core Java which is there on my channel and you can see the playlist link in the i button above. So let's start. First of all, what is collections in Java? So Java's collection framework offers an architecture for storing and managing a collection of objects. Okay, so uh, you are having a specific framework, frame, you're arranging everything. That is, you're keeping an architecture where you can manage a lot of things very in a very easier way. All the data actions, you have sorting, searching, insertion, manipulation, deletion. All things are possible with Java or collections. Okay, So, a collection in Java is a group of related objects. The Java collection framework has numerous classes. Array list, vector, linked list, priority queue, hash set, linked hash set, tree set and interfaces. Set, list, queue and DQ. We'll be studying about each one in detail in the upcoming videos. So let's see further on this. So uh, what is it again I'm explaining you is collection framework. Uh, as we discussed what is collection, it is a framework. So now basically what are we referring to with framework? It is a specific architecture like a unified architecture for representing and working with collections. Okay. So like we'll discuss about collection frameworks that we have that is interfaces are abstract data types if you want to know more about what is an interface there is already a video on interfaces you can check that out are abstract data types that serve as collections representations collections can be manipulated using interfaces regardless of the specifics of their representation interfaces and object oriented languages typically have a hierarchy We'll see the hierarchy in a minute, but coming to interfaces, uh, you can easily manipulate your collection. Okay, that's the main major factor of interfaces. Implementations. Now, uh, you have to implement these interfaces. Okay, how it has been put into practice, how you can reuse your data structures, all about that. Next part is algorithms. So, in this algorithms, these are the processes that you carry out, okay, uh, such as you will have uh, sorting process, uh, searching process, all these processes are very, you know, uh, common. So, instead of, you know, people writing code again and again and again, they have made that kind of collection on which you can easily just apply some method that is called a sort or some method and uh, you can easily get the results rather than, you know, coding that many lines. Since the same method can be used to numerous distinct implementations of the necessary collection interface, the algorithms are considered to be polymorphic. It is a reuse, it should be a reusable functionality. Okay. Now, what does what is the need of this? What are the benefits that you're getting out of this? So it reduces your programming effort. Okay, you're directly applying methods given by collections. It will increase your speed and quality. Okay, imagine you want to write, uh, so you want to do sorting and you again and again and again you're calling, every time you're calling a method uh, written by you and uh, if not that you are rewriting your code again and again. So it basically increases your speed and quality, allows interoperability among unrelated APIs, okay, reduces effort to learn and use new APIs. Reduces effort to design new APIs, fosters software reuse. Uh, the major biggest benefit is your programming effort reduces and you're reusing the contents. And you can focus on putting up new other things rather than focusing on all these things, right? So this is the hierarchy. Where you see this arrow, it is shows as extends, okay? And this box is class and this dotted lines is implements okay so all these things in detail what these are why and how these work we'll be discussing each and every one in a different video because uh, it, it is not that very simple that i can tell you in one line 
so we'll, uh, this is just an introduction to collection framework so these are the things that you have you have classes you have interfaces and how each other is implementing extending and everything that is there so you can just check this hierarchy and coming to methods in collections so this is the uh, snapshot that i have taken from docsoracle.com so there you can see you know you have add method add all then clear contains contains all equals hash code is empty all these methods are being given to us for collection in every one like you have array list vector and link list for everything you have all these kind of methods so that's it for today guys please like share and subscribe my channel do not forget to hit the bell icon to get a notification of the updated video thank you